Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion for September 13th, 2022, around 1130 a.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including the potential for a new tropical system to be forming in the central and western part of the Atlantic Basin over the next several days. So it's going to jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic this morning, we noticed that we have a few things going on right now. First of all, in the central Atlantic, we have newly designated Invest Area 96L, this massive piece of disturbance that will be moving westward over the next couple of days and could develop into a tropical cyclone as it approaches the Leeward Island chain. And then we also have a disturbance that has moved off the coast of Africa today, this wave down here. And some development of the system is possible as this remains at pretty low latitudes over the next couple of days to about the next week or so. When This has not been officially tagged, but we'll have to see if this remains uh, any concern over the next couple of days. So we look here at the 2 p.m. or the, I'm sorry, 8 a.m. tropical weather outlook from this morning. We noticed that again, this is invest area 96L right here. This has a 40% chance of development over the next several days as this moves generally towards the west-northwest here. Again, most of the leeward island chain here up towards uh, the U.S. British Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico is included in this potential formation area. And then we have this other tropical disturbance back here that will likely be moving off towards the north and west and will likely not pose any significant threat to land over the next couple of days. So if we take a look here at the environment for 96L and what to expect, let's look at the GFS forecast. This is the 060 run valid here for 2 p.m. this afternoon. We're looking at the 850 millibar vorticity or the spin in the atmosphere at about 5,000 feet off the ground. And we notice that here are our two players on the board. This is invest area 96L right here. And this is that tropical disturbance that is tagged uh, not yet as an invest, but will be moving off towards the northwest over the next few days. And we notice here on the GFS forecast, nothing really consolidates with both of these waves. We notice that 96L actually moves generally westward and into the Leeward Island chain. This is still bringing with it some shower and thunderstorm activity. But the problem here is that it's moving very quickly, a brisk about 25, uh, you know, about 20 to 25 knots or so. And that makes it very hard for something to consolidate down there. Now, the problem is that the GFS is just acting very weird and I don't really know if we're going to get a system moving 25 knots in the MDR in September. That's usually not what happens. The trade winds are not screaming through here. So I'm a little bit confused as to why the GFS is actually forecasting this. Nonetheless, though, we look at the upper level wind environment here on the GFS. It's just very unfavorable. The European is going to paint a little bit of a different picture. Now, the 60 run here of the Euro doesn't really perk up this wave either. Either, In fact, it keeps this wave pretty far south, crashes it into land, and nothing really manages to develop. Zero Z run, however, did manage to get something going, still crashes it into land, um, but does carry it, and then a potential another system coming at low latitudes that we'll have to watch within the next couple of days to about the next week or so. If you look at the upper level wind environment here on the European, it is significantly more favorable here though, with the potential for an upper level anti-cyclone to develop uh, conditions to become at least modestly unfavorable by the end of this forecast run. But nonetheless, there is some potential for some development as this thing gets closer to the Leeward Island chain Either way, I would say right now the impacts will be just mainly gusty winds, heavy rainfall, the potential for flooding, not really seeing anything significant out of it at this point. But of course, I will continue to keep you updated on that. Now in the East Pacific Basin, we will also be watching the potential for a storm to develop. If you look at the ensemble mean sea level pressures here coming off the European, again, there is the potential for yet another storm to form uh, as it continues to track towards the northwest here. We'll have to see how close this potentially gets to the Baja Peninsula. So far, not really seeing any potential for impacts, but of course that could change. And then as for the Atlantic system, again, this is the zero Z run here of the European ensembles. We're looking at the forecast track again. Mostly there is a pretty good clustering here of ensemble support for at least a modest tropical cyclone to form. However, if we actually move to the zero six Z run here, uh, we notice that it's going to be a little bit different. And in fact, again, we lose a lot of model support as we progress forward in time. So there is still the potential that we could have some type of system impact in the Leeward Island chain within the next couple of days, about the next five to six days. However, it's a little too uncertain to determine what, if any, impacts will occur. Bottom line, I'm only really uh, 
willing to say heavy rainfall and the potential for some flooding and gusty winds at this potential time. So at this particular time, so not really seeing much of a threat, but of course, we'll continue to keep eyes on that. And of course, that being said, I do hope you have a great rest of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Mike Romali. I'll be talking to you guys again some more tomorrow.